Hello friends, this video on Ask and Waste Part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. So now we know acid, we know base, we know salt. But how we will we'll indicate whether it is an acid or base? Given a substance, let's suppose we have given something. We have a, we are given any particular substance. We don't know what is the name of the substance. Let's suppose in a beaker we have some uh, acid, some some uh, aqua solution, and we are told to find whether it is acid or base. How to find this? So for that we used acid base indicators. They are indicators which can indicate whether the solution is acid or base. So litmus solution is one indicator. Is an action indicator. We know what litmus solution we have learned that litmus thing uh, litmus is the national indicator it's purple dye which is extracted from the selection plant and this guy turns this guy turns blue to red on acid so this is the acid the litmus turn from blue to red and this base that turns red litmus blue correct Acid will turn blue to red. Correct. And base will turn red to blue. This is a natural indicator. The next indicator is the red cabbage leaves. So this guy, when you put acid, this becomes red. When you put base on this, it becomes green. And when, when neutral, this is blue actually. So by default, the color is blue. Uh, bluish color and when it is uh, you put some acid it becomes red when you put some basic thing it becomes green and when you put some neutral substance it becomes blue turmeric is another thing uh, it is a yellow color turmeric right? it remains yellow it remains yellow if you put acid also it remains yellow in base it turns red so if you see these two is, is, is a reverse kind of uh, indicators where uh, if if it is a uh, acid it turns blue to red now if it is a base it turns red to blue right but in turmeric it's not like this turmeric is yellow you put acid it has no impact but the moment you put uh, base it becomes red turmeric you all know right turmeric thing this guy is turmeric so if you put acid, if you put acid, no reaction, the moment you put base, this guy becomes blue color, which is color is changed, red color actually. The moment you put base, this becomes red color. If you put acid, no reaction, right? That's how it is. Then we have some color petals of some plants like uh, Hydra Gang and Germanium. So these, these uh, petals are also used for uh, uh, finding acid and base. Onion is also used. Onion in this case, the color doesn't change, the smell change. We'll learn more about this olfactory indicators, but uh, you should know now this that the onion, if you put a basic substance, the the smell will diminish. But if you put acid, the smell doesn't go. So to remember this smell, uh, what you can do is onion is very sour, right? Bitter. You can say onion is very strong. So I think onion is acid. So if you put acid. It doesn't change, it doesn't change the smell. But the moment you put base, base something, the effect of onion is gone and the smell also goes off. But that's how it is memory tip actually. So if you put acid in this, it, it, the smell doesn't go off because onion is still elastic. When you put base, the reaction happens and this uh, effect of onion goes off and the, the smell also goes off. The vanilla essence. So in this vanilla essence also, the smell is gone if you add base, right? And the smell is still the same if you add acid. So in both these things, the olfactory indicator, we have seen that if you add acid, the smell is not impacted. But the moment you add base, the smell goes off. Phenolphthalein. So this remains colorless in acid but turns pink in base. Please note this. The spinophilin is really colorless. If you put acid also, it's colorless. The moment you put base, it 
becomes pink in color. This is a phenolphthalate. And the last one here we have is a methyl orange. This guy turns pink in acid and yellow in base. So methyl orange is uh, you put acid, it becomes pink, you put base, it becomes yellow. So these things you have to remember actually. So uh, you have litmus, you add acid, the blue becomes red, you add the base, the red becomes blue. Cabbage leaves, if you add acid, it becomes red, if you add base, it becomes green, if you add a neutral thing, it becomes blue. Turmeric thing, you add acid, no effect. You add base, it becomes red. Onion, you add acid, no effect. You add, so if you see all these, these guys, uh, on adding acid, there is no change for all these. This guy also. All these right on you add acid, there is no change. But you, when you add base, it becomes red. When you add acid in the onion, there is no change. When you add base, the smell diminishes. Same thing with vanillases, you add acid, nothing happens. When you add base, the smell diminishes. In ophthalene, you add acid, nothing happens, it's still colorless. But you add base, it becomes and for methyl orange, add acid it becomes pink, and base it becomes black. So now is the question time. So we know all acid base indicators, so we have a question on acid base. So we have three test tubes and they contain some distilled water with uh, some solution, acidic or basic. So one of them is acidic, one of them is basic, and the one of them is Neutral. We are given only one red litmus paper. Only one red litmus paper. We have to identify the content of each of this. So for litmus paper, I know that if it is base, it will turn red to blue. If it is acid, it will turn blue. This is something we know. I am given red litmus paper. So my I can use this guy, right? I am given red litmus paper. And we know that the only thing I can do is red litmus paper will turn blue. Then something is basic. Correct? Because if red litmus paper is red itself, if I dip in something, and there is no change, that substance can be acid also, it can be neutral also. We don't know. But if that thing is blue, the, the red letters paper turned blue, that means it is 100% base. Correct. So, what I'll do now is, I'll dip that red litmus paper, let's assume this is my red litmus paper. I'll dip this guy red litmus paper. Yeah, this is my red litmus paper, let's suppose. In all these. In one of these, it will turn to blue. Why? Because one of this is base. So let's suppose in this it turned blue. So that means this is my base. Correct. So I had one red litmus paper. I have dipped in all these things. In one it turned blue because if there is acid in this it won't change. If it is neutral also it won't change. So it turned blue in one. So now what I have? I don't have red litmus paper. Correct. So now what I have is blue litmus paper. Please note, my red litmus paper is turned into blue actually. This guy will turn into blue. So now I have blue litmus paper. So this blue litmus paper, I know this guy is base now. I don't need to test this. So one of this is acid. So blue litmus tape paper will turn to red only in, in case of acid. So if I did this guy blue in this, let's suppose there is no change, that means this guy is neutral. And if I dip this guy in this, there is a chain, that means it is an acid. So anything that converts blue to red is acid. So let's suppose I dip this guy in this and it converts to red. Right? It converts to red, that means this guy is an acid. And the last remaining is neutral. Correct? You understood what I have done? So what I have done here is, I knew that base will convert red to blue. I had, since I had red litmus paper, I don't have any other option other than finding the base first. 
So I dipped the base in all three, one by one. So I found that the moment I dipped in this guy, I mean, in in whichever uh, test tube, the red red person is turned into blue. That particular test tube is basic in nature. So I got this basic thing. I know that this guy is basic. Now I'm going to two test tubes to define which one is acid, which one is neutral. Now since I have blue, so blue will convert to red only in case of acid. So we'll dip this in both one by one. And you'll find that the one which converts the again guy into red litmus paper is my acidic solution. So I found that here I got coming into red, this is the acid, and the last one is the base. Now the question which we ask: water is the acid or base? As you see, when I explain the application of acid or base, I have included water in both the case. That means Water is both acid and base, depending on how you look at it. It is all your perspective that matters. Water is both acid and base. It's a debatable topic. Some people are um, firm on this saying what is acid. Some people are firm on this saying what is base. Actually, it is both acid and base. It is considered acid in some reaction, base in others. Because as I told, acid is something which gives hydrogen, and base is something which takes hydrogen. Right. So, in some case, water takes hydrogen. In some case, water gives hydrogen. Right. So, water is both acid. We'll see the reaction. For example, in this case, you have water plus water. This is H two two H two is nothing but H two O plus H two. So, in this case, if you see this guy, if you see this reaction. H plus OH minus I wrote. So this guy is giving one electron. So this guy becomes H3O plus, and this guy is losing an electron. So this guy, if you see, is an acid. This guy is a base. Correct. Since this guy is giving as a hydrogen is acid, since this guy is accepting a hydrogen as base, but you see both the water. So in this reaction. Some part of water is acting as an acid. Some part of act water is acting as a base. So this is a typical reaction where water is acting both as acid and base. It is accepting hydrogen also, and it is giving hydrogen also. Correct. Now, if you see the water we drink, the drinking water I'm talking about, the drinking water, it has ions in it. And these ions also make them acidic or basic. For example, in water, water you put salt, common salt that is NaCl. NaCl will become Na plus NaCl minus ions, right, sir? So this is Na plus NaCl minus ions. The same example I will take. This is my glass, and there is some water in this, and I put NaCl. So this becomes Na plus, lot of Na plus, and lot of Cl minus ion floating around. Okay. So if you see this, what happens here is the all the ions, and sometimes these ions also define whether it is acidic or basic, depending on the kind of ions you have put. Right. So the 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 distilled water is both acidic and basic, depending on the reaction, and also on the Types of ion which is there in the water because most of the water we drink are not the distilled water; it has a ions in it. So those ions also define the acidic or basic property of the water. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.